Welcome to Bar on the Stairs. This is Alex, and today we are going to be working on the Corpse Reviver number two. So the Corpse Reviver is part of a family of cocktails that are all made in equal parts. The name from this drink is either derived from a story that a man walked into a bar and asked the bartender to make him a drink strong enough to bring him back from his deathly hangover, or that the drinks are just so strong that they could bring a person back from the dead. These drinks are very spirit forward, but they're also a little bit citrusy, and today we'll be doing the recipe for the Corpse Reviver number two. For this cocktail, we're going to be using five ingredients, the first of which is a bar spoon of absinthe. You really don't need a whole lot. It is very potent stuff. So you're gonna need three quarters of an ounce for fresh squeezed lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of your orange liqueur of choice. I'm going to be using the Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. And then you will need three quarters of an ounce of either Lillet Blanc or Coqui Americano. The original recipe was made with Lillet Quintessencia, which had a lot of gentian root and chinoa bark added to it. Modern Lillet recipes do not have nearly as much, so the flavor profile isn't the same. So you can get by with a more original tasting cocktail using Coqui Americano. We'll just add three quarters of an ounce of that to our drink as well. Now for the most important ingredient, our gin. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of it, and today I am using the Roku Gin from Suntory Distilling in Japan. We're just gonna add some ice to our tin. Just got some nice little wine and ice cubes. I think we've got eight of those. And we're gonna give it a quick shake. After that, just gonna double strain it using our strainer and a fine strainer into our glass. And that's it, that's the whole drink. Now, I've probably made five or six of these in my life and I've never tasted one before right out of the glass. So let's find out what it tastes like. That is deceptively smooth. It's really citrusy and bright up front. You get a little bit of those like orangey notes from the curacao and a little bit of bitterness from the absinthe and the coqui americano. The gin is just kind of, it's there. I don't get a whole lot out of it, honestly. It's a very citrusy gin, so maybe it's just playing into all those flavors. And the absinthe is just very, very kind of subtle and licorice on the finish. This drink is fine. I like it a bit. If I was given this drink, I would not be upset, but it's not my absolute favorite, but there are people that absolutely love this drink, and it is really bright and refreshing. I could understand if you were hungover, this is the first thing you drank in the morning. It would definitely perk you right back up, probably because there's so much booze in it, you were drunk all over again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Bar Under the Stairs. I'm Alex, and this has been The Corpse Reviver number two. Give us a like, if you liked this video, and if you didn't like this video, let us know down in the comments. <laughs> Why do you have to make the faces at me? Let's <laughs> reshoot. Just say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>
kind of like if you just put absinthe in a gin gimlet. 